and 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 brokum uh, okay. was the brother of rich yep. my father uh, was a police officer and he, he's deceased now okay he's gone that is maker my mom uh, was a cook at the uh, brokum Chenu college um we are four uh, in the family um i attended uh Methodist Primary School. I, I'm Saito. I completed okay. Form 4. <laughs> and then I continued uh, to uh, Brookham Secondary School. And then I joined uh, the force, uh, the Ghana Police Service. Uh, so you joined after, the, uh, uh, my O level. Okay, so straight after O level. So you yeah. were 18? Just to, no, I, I was I was about that. I stayed home uh, for a while before I joined the service. So okay. I was... So you've been in the police force for for a long time. Oh, uh, about um, about eight, uh, fifteen there. Yeah. Okay. How old are you now? Okay. How old are you now? How old I am? Uh, I'm in my forties. You're in your forties. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, any siblings, brothers, sisters? Yes, I have. I have, t I have two brothers and a, and a sister. Okay. Younger, yeah. older? Uh, I'm third third in the family. Um, my the one follows me is is, is a boy. Um, this is my sister is the second second in the family okay um what was it like in school for you um i mean while you were in school were you already um one of the people that you could see would be a police officer were you a prefect were there uh you know instances where you could see yourself being a police officer even not, at all, not at all i i never thought i would be one uh, because uh how life was because my father was a police officer. I I I never saw him. One, but he left one way when I was in uh, class three. Okay. I never saw him until I got to form five. Oh wow! I, I came to look for him. So police <laughs> matter wasn't, but it wasn't on the line. Right. I wanted to be a teacher. Okay. Because I love children so much. Yeah. And so, but life life wasn't easy at all because uh, my mama had to take care of the family oh, the and church, yeah. and uh, her sister's daughters and sons and all that. So one had to uh, hustle and struggle to meet uh, what 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 was there then. It wasn't easy. Okay. Um, so you said you wanted to be a yeah teacher. in school. I uh, I wasn't a prophet. Uh, I was I was a, a cultural leader. Okay. Yeah, I was a good dancer. You're a good dancer. <laughs> okay. All right. So the, actually, that will lead to some other stuff <laughs> that we'll talk about a little bit later on. Um, so, so how is it for you juggling or dealing with these two huge aspects of your life? You being a gospel artist that everybody knows, you know, by face and, and by your career, and also being part of the Ghana Police Force. Yeah, it it it, it is not easy. Uh, combining these two major, uh, uh, I may say, professions, uh, it's not easy at all. But uh, I believe that God will not give you any task that will not give you the strength, the ability, the enablement to be able to carry them all out successfully. Okay. So the strength it comes from God, uh, except that it's my wife that I, I, I bother. <laughs> I'm bothering, uh, bothering a lot because hardly I stay at home, right. always out, 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 out. Yeah. I thank God. She understands the ministry. Not my profession. So what she does is she she prays for me. Anytime I tell I tell her I'm going out, I'm going for a program. She says I'm praying for you, and that's it. That's 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 <laughs> good. Um, now, when it comes to the police force, uh, uh, what division or what sector are you in? I, I'm with the procurement. Procurement. Okay. So uh, you, you're in the office. Yes. yes dealing with some paperwork <laughs> and, and other stuff. Um, how do people treat you in the office? How do people treat you within the the, the police force? Oh, well, um, when it gets to job, we do our jobs. Everybody has his duty that he performs. But uh, they take me as their own. Those who have to advise me, do advise me. They give me encouragement. And I, always, I also relate with them very, very nicely. Um, I, I, I wouldn't want anything to, to be on my head and carry me, you know, I, I, I try to relate with everybody. And not when you ask, if you ask anybody at the point, they will tell you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, okay. So, so considering, I mean, you're, you're calling from God and such, and you being such a devout Christian, do you have certain difficulties when it comes to certain aspects of policing, i.e. Um, maybe uh, apprehending a criminal? Oh yes, I, I've I've been I've been trained to be a professional police officer, right. and that's what the law says that 
one is, one is a crime committed and one or when a crime is reported to you, you must act. Right. Even civilians have 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 that opportunity to do arrest. Yes. But when you do it, when a civilian does an arrest, immediately you should send the, the culprit or the, the the criminal or suspected criminal to the police station. Mm. So uh, that's my profession. I always say this that if I mean, even on stage and I see a crime have been committed. I'll drop the microphone and perform my <laughs> The reason I'm laughing is because I, I said to Martin this morning, what would happen if you were actually mid-song and you saw something happen? You would jump off stage? Yes, I'll, I'll jump off stage and do my duties. There should be peace and harmony. If you've been ministering to, to someone, you, the, the atmosphere must be serene so that the person can grasp what you are impacting or saying to the person. Right. If it's chaos, if there's a program that's a chaos and all that, how would people even uh, 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 concentrate on yeah. what you're doing? Okay, so but you, you say you would, but have you? I mean, have you physically apprehended criminals? Um, one, 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 I, I was, I was, I was uh, a training, I, I, I did. I do go for operations. I've, okay. I've been at the four uh, uh, war zone area. I go for uh, operations outside and within. Um, I do. I, I do arrest. I, I, pre I apprehend. Okay, great stuff. Yeah. All right. Now, w within the police force, also, do you do you get any you know preferential treatment? Has has you being being the gospel star, Kofi Sapong, uh, <laughs> helped in any way in regards to promotion or the way you're treated in the in the force? No, no, there hasn't been one. I I am course thirty six, and I move with my course mates. Okay. Uh, when when it comes to promotion, I move. Um, I, I I do my my job, uh, and uh, that's the talent and gift God give me. So and, and I'm even grateful that the administration gave me the opportunity mm -hmm. to unearth the talent that I have. I, I'm fine. Do do, do your colleagues? Uh, sometimes come to you and either seek advice or redress in regards to your other mm -hmm. side of business. And mostly, the gospel. mostly they do come. Mm -hmm. They do come. Those who have uh, that talent, uh, not necessarily uh, 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 voice to sing. They have other things that they also think that they can do. Uh, they come for advice here and there. Some come ask you, "How did you do it?" and, and, and all that. As you were asking, how do you manage your timings and, and, and all that? So they do come, and we share, we share together. Okay. Share together. All right. Now, um, I, I want to talk a little bit about crime within Ghana at the moment. We've had a recent uh, spate of um, very, you know, bloody attacks. Um, we even had rumors of certain contract killings. Um, what's your view on crime in the country at the moment? Um, do you think that the Ghana police force is well, you can, considering you're in procurement as well, fully equipped to deal with the kind of crime that we're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis? Oh, we, we're doing our best under the circumstance. Uh, we're, we're trying our best. Uh, I don't have the statistics. Uh, the CID has it. And, and uh, our PRO, PAD department have these uh, studies. So, but under the circumstance, uh, we're doing our best. Okay. <laughs> All right, but what, what do you think about the, some of the crime? I mean, not necessarily how you're dealing with them, but what's happening in the country. I mean, we've even last week or the, you know a couple of weeks ago, we had a situation where there was altercations between the public and the police force during a demonstration. Mm -hmm. uh, people were crying out that it was police brutality. Uh, the IGP came out and said he's proud of the force and the way they dealt with things. What would your opinion be in, in that regard? Uh, we are to protect life and property. And if my boss, the IGP, it has come out to say this, um, I don't, let, let it stand, let the top of hierarchy just with it. I, I don't know uh, under what circumstances because I wasn't part of the, the, the duty, I wasn't part of the demonstration uh, duty that day. So I wouldn't know what actually happened. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and I believe that the top hierarchy uh, are, are dealing with it. <laughs> okay, all right. We'll leave that alone for now. Um, let, let's head to the other aspect of your life. Um, God, obviously you're in the ministry, you're singing. Um, what would you be your favorite part of ministry? Um, like when, when I am on stage and uh, people 
um, vibe into what I am doing. Uh, it, it, it gives me encouragement. It urges me to move on. And when you meet people or uh, at the restaurant and walking, and you see people call, call you, uh, tell you that your song, uh, this song has done this in my life. I, I was in this distress moment, and when I listened to your song, that is what it did for me. A lot of, a lot of testimonies that I've, I've heard, and it, it, it pushes me on that at, at least, if or nothing, someone has been saved through. Uh, my, 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 my music or my piece and it, it edits me on to do more. Okay. Um, there have been, well, th there are various uh, so-called men of God who are doing works which, let's just say, God wouldn't be too proud of at certain <laughs> times. Um, <laughs> what's your opinion on that? Because th there seem to be a lot of charlatans. There seem to be a lot of people who claim that they are men of God, but not actually practicing what God would actually want them to do. The Bible tells us, tells us that it lets, let's all grow and the harvester will come one day and take the chaff from the wheat. So we should wait for that. <laughs> That's a very well dodged question. But, um, okay, now I'm going to show you a little something at the moment. We're going to play a, a short video. Okay. Um, this is something that came up. Um, apparently, you, you caught some fire for this, but we're going to find out from you exactly what happened, and then we'll take it from there. So let's take a look at this. a video of yourself yeah. and uh, Adrasma yes. dancing to uh, Gas Miller's song Telemo. Yeah. Now, personally, I didn't see anything wrong with that. Um, apparently, you caught some stick for that. What, what was what was the whole thing about? No, I I I what I realized that people were sending back the video <laughs> to me. Okay. <laughs> yes. So um, and I I I look at the, the number of people that have watched this this piece. Yeah. So I listen to some of high life music. When I understand what the piece entails, okay, I listen to uh, uh, Kofi B's song "Bantama um, um, Right, it tells you what life is. That when you have it today, keep some for future because you don't know what tomorrow holds. Right. If you listen to Nana and producer Obra, Obra, anywhere else, it tells you what life is. Uh, there are a lot of these st stuff that you can listen uh, and have, sh you can shape your life with. Mm -hmm. he, he's, I don't understand Ghana language actually. Okay, so he broke it down for you. Yeah, but he, he explained what the, the lyrics and the oh, content right. is. And I'm moved by, by, by beats. Right. Okay. And at that point, has been uh, a sister, he, but she calls me my boyfriend. <laughs> I was there, she, she came that, oh, I've requested a song, uh, I'm coming to down with my, my boyfriend. So, <laughs> I got there, and there were a lot of media guys there. But we were at um, um, naming ceremony, and the guy happens to be the police man, okay. and the lady happens to be a media lady. Okay. So, so they invited Yes, they invited, invited me. Invited so, I, 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 can't, I can't be hypocrite. I listen to these songs that I think that the, the content and the lyrics and the words in it kind of help me. Yeah, have a meaning. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, I'm glad you cleared that. <laughs> I'm glad you cleared that part up because I, I wasn't too sure what was wrong with that myself <laughs> because it seemed very innocent. It seemed very uh, above board to me. Now, one thing that's also come into the, uh, the limelight is the fact that you're very fashionable. Obviously, every time we see you on stage, I, um, you, you wear some really <laughs> nice suits. Even what you're wearing tonight, very, very, very nice. Um, what, what goes into the, the thinking behind your, your fashion? And, and, you know, how come you like fashion so much? Because I, I can tell you this much. When you walk into your procurement office this morning, half of the people are not going to be dressed like you, are they? 
<laughs> no, because uh, because um, they are not they are not uh, uh, CID the CID or uh, the the, the um, CID department they wear mufti. Right. My uniform is there immediately. I go. I change over. I'm going to change uh, my, my uniform. Uh, comes to that, I I buy a piece of cloth and I tell my my uh, my designer, I'll cut it this way. I want it this way. Sometimes he brings the idea, and I also give uh, a little that I, I know uh -huh. how I want it to be. So, uh, but first and foremost, I wear uh, clothes to cover up my nakedness. So, it's the extension. Someone sees it and uh, likes it. That's me to God. <laughs> I'm honored. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Um, now, uh, let's. Talk about music a little bit. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned that you like some of the, the high life and hip life songs that have, have meaning. Yeah. Um, what don't you like about current music at the moment? Oh, um, there have been a lot of transformations. Uh, uh, look, you, you were all looking at the video that just, just shown. There have been a lot of uh, changes here and there. And so we, are, we, are, we are moving on, we are getting on. Except that, um, as I've already said, uh, children and the young guys listen to uh, these songs. And so we should try uh, uh, and come up with songs that uh, will, will advise, motivate, educate, uh, and, and all that. Okay. That's very little. Uh, and when it comes to gospel music, what's your preference? Do you like old school gospel? Or do you like what's happening now with some of the new school gospel? I, I, I love them all. I love them all. Because in that time, that was what... That was the end thing. Yes. Right. So, as I've already said, uh, I have a lot of transformations that have brought us here now. Our generation is what we've given them. <laughs> so, I, I listen to them all. And they all have uh, very good content, very good uh, uh, lyrics, weight, and, and, and beat. And so uh, that's why sometimes we even research and go back and pick some of these uh, old songs and uh, modernize them uh, to suit our present generation. They're all good. Okay. Uh, now, when it comes to your performances on stage, there's a lot of choreography, there's a lot of moving about, very, very vibrant. I is that where uh, the, the inner dancer in you came out? Because you said when you were a kid, <laughs> you wanted to dance. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, for me, Everything I do um, come naturally, naturally. When I, when I play the microphone, I don't know where <laughs> these skills come from. But uh, I ask myself, and I will tell myself that if, if David dance at all, his garment is stripped off, what, what can I do more than David did to praise God? And so that's my, my motivation. That This is what edges me on to give my best because hey you're communicating when you're on stage you're communicating with, with the people mm -hmm. and so you you do whatever you, you can to get their attention so that you, you give the whatever you you, you have to them so 100 percent all the time yeah all right okay so just to uh, wrap things up then let's just go to what things are happening in your home at the moment you said you're married how long have you yeah. been married for uh um i've been married 12th year. 12th year yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. Any children? Yeah, I have, I have three. I have two boys and a girl. All right. What are the ages? Um, uh, Nana is 11. Okay. Uh, Efia is 8. And the little one is 3. Okay. So with Nana and Efia, what have they decided that they want to do in the future? Have they told you? Uh, yes. Na Nana has a very wonderful voice. He sings very well. Okay. Um, if you are, wants to be a, a pilot, and none uh, of them want to go into the police force, uh, well, maybe they may change their mind as <laughs> when they as they grow, the as same way their think. father did. Yes. yes so. so how did they take it then? I mean, you you being uh, who you are. Oh, they take it cool. Uh, uh, Somebody come home and ask me, um, uh, Daddy, someone uh, we met a man and he asked us, "Are you?" Uh, you uh, could support children because they, uh, they resemble me very well. When you time anywhere you see them, nobody will tell that they are my children. <laughs> so because I give them, I, I give them to them. <laughs> <laughs> so they're handling things well. Yes, they, yeah. cool. They are very, very, very grounded. Yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah, but um, the new album is out. We have 
I have my third album out okay. now. Congratulations on that. Too. Thank you very much. The title is I Believe. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing the, the launching. Uh, we're doing the launching on the 1st of November at okay. Liberty Assemblies of God, uh, just on uh, La Paz, Abeka La Paz Road, okay. at 2 p.m., 2 p.m., Liberty Assemblies of God on La Paz Road. Um, oh, I entreat everybody to come and see and experience God's presence that day. Because uh, it will all the, the gurus in the gospel music and my brothers and sisters and on the other side, <laughs> they are all coming to support their brother. Good stuff. On the, uh, first of November. All right. I want to thank you so much for coming in this morning. I'm grateful too. Superintendent Kofi okay. Sapong. And uh, continue to do your good works in regards to your ministry and also in the Ghana Police Force. And I'm sure after this, you probably see him in his full uniform in the procurement office.